Good Friday evening, everyone. This is Shindo. I just saw this news story and I immediately thought that I needed to do a video about this. Yes, this is how I spend my Friday nights. Looking out through the news, even on a Friday night, for you, with all I'm asking for from you is to subscribe to my channel. I love to see comments that are intelligent even if they are different than my own, even if they are contradictory to my own. I do not like to see comments from people who just want to name call like like a fifth grader. So comment, smart comments or good adult comments. Click like and share my videos if you like what I do here. I have been talking about North Korea for some time and it appears that the first major uh, foreign policy problem that the new president, President Trump, is going to have to deal with is North Korea. Now folks, these things are being laid out boom, 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 boom. Just like I say and have been saying for years now. North Korea is again creating plutonium. North Korea has restarted their plutonium reactor. This is big. This is from Yahoo News. North Korea appears to have restarted plutonium reactor think tank. Now before I get into this, if you remember what I've said about North Korea, watch North Korea because this is going to be the big flashpoint. And this isn't something that I came up with. This is something that those remote viewers years ago saw in our future that North Korea would fire a nuclear bomb onto South Korea. It's not likely that they're ever going to fire one here at the United States. And some people practically shrug their shoulders at the idea of them firing one on South Korea. Do you, you realize that the last time a nuclear bomb was exploded on, uh, on a country, it wasn't even a nuclear bomb, it was the atomic bomb. And that was, of course, Japan. So this has never been done before. Not nuclear, but it hasn't been done on any level at all since 1945. So this is big. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I firmly believe it's going to happen. North Korea is going to fire one onto South Korea and it is going to be a major deal. Of course it is. Washington. New commercial satellite imagery indicates North Korea has resumed operation of a, re of a reactor at its main nuclear site used to produce plutonium for its nuclear weapon program, a U.S. think tank said on Friday. Washington's 38 North North Korea Monitoring Project said previous analysis from January 18th shows signs that North Korea was preparing to restart the reactor at Yongbyon, having uploaded, unloaded spent fuel rods for reprocessing to reduce additional plutonium for its nuclear weapons stockpile. Quote, imagery from January 22nd shows a water plume, mostly probably warm, originating from the cooling water outlet of the, of the reactor, an indication that the reactor is very likely operating, unquote. It said in a report, it said it was impossible to estimate at what power level the reactor was running, quote, although it may be considerable, unquote. A 38 North Korea report last week said operations at the reactor had been suspended since late 2015. 
North Korea had maintained its nuclear and missile programs in violation of repeated rounds of international sanctions. News of the apparent reactor restart comes at a time of rising concern about North Korea's weapon programs, which could present a new, the new administration of U.S. President Donald Trump with its first major crisis. A report by leading U.S.-based nuclear expert Siegfried Hecker, published by 38 North last September, estimated North Korea had stockpiles of 32 to 54 kilograms, 70 to 119 pounds of plutonium, enough for six to eight bombs, and had the capacity to produce six kilograms, or approximately one bomb's worth per year. North Korea also produces highly enriched uranium for atomic bombs and would have uh, sufficient fissile, fiss, excuse me, fissile material for approximately 20 bombs by the end of last year, and the capacity produced seven more a year, the report said. In a New Year's speech, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un said his country was close to test launching an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, and state media has said a launch could come at any time. Trump's defense secretary plans to visit Japan and South Korea next week and shared concern about North Korea are expected to top his agenda. Well, there's one person on this planet, leader on this planet, who's even crazier than Donald Trump, and that's Kim Jong-un. So, wait until our new president pushes Kim Jong-un into a corner. You see, when someone's pushed into a corner, even if they're a little guy, they have no choice but to fight back. This is happening, folks. I assure you, this is happening, and I assure you, Donald Trump is not going to handle it well. It's going to be his first major um, crisis, and he's not going to handle it well, and we're going to see within the next couple of weeks. This is Chanel. Have a good evening.